So just initially, as you can hear me speaking, you can kind of hear quite an echo. I'm pretty sure I can hear an echo anyway. And you might be thinking, why is there such an echo? Well, we're in the bathroom. Now you might be thinking, what are we doing in here to start the video? Well, if you remember last week, I did say right at the very end, I mean the, the very, very end of the video, that I was planning just to keep this just to annoy my sisters a bit, but it got to the point now where even I feel like it's a bit, it's a bit itchy. It's, well, not even itchy, it's just, I feel like it's, it's too much to control that I don't want to control. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it. But I've also been thinking, you know, I've, I've grown this for like, more than usual so i have the 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 opportunity to do something a little different so i might i'm thinking just get rid of this have a bit of a, a mustache maybe the maybe the mustache with a bit of the, the chin as well you know maybe mutton chops most likely won't be getting them but you know what i'm just thinking maybe i've been the mustache as a most likely so we'll see you know what i've got a couple different examples i mean there's this one, there's this one, that one, maybe this one, probably not this one. So you know what, what we'll do is we'll work it out as we go. And I mean, to be honest, if I do mess up, I can just go back to normal and then maybe just try it again from the ground up. And also you might be thinking, why do I keep looking forward? Well, this is a bit of a special shot. Cause if I do this, look at that. We are in the mirror. That's right. It's a cool little crave shot that, I mean, this has nothing to do with mirrors. That might be in the future. I might have written it down already, who knows. But I'm just trying to show you what you can do in a, not a small space, but a space where let's say you want the camera to be in a certain direction. I've literally got my camera in this direction when there's a wall there. Now see that we've already started with a bit of a videography tip and we haven't even started the video yet. Not properly anyway. So let's get on with doing this. So I've just started, and as you can hear, it's already starting to slowly die down. So it hasn't been charged, so we'll carry this on in about an hour. I don't know. I mean, it looks all right for like a split second. But I feel like that's it. It lasts for about a split second, so. I think chances are, I'll be going back to normal. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, that looks a bit, a little bit longer than what I just saw like two seconds ago. Well, it has been four or five days, I think, since I did that little sequence. So, a bit of a growth period. But you know what, it's all right, because chances are I am gonna most likely do it again in the next couple of days. So by the next video, you'll see it a little shorter. I mean, to be honest, you really don't care about this. This is a different video. So if you remember in last week's video, you might remember that I did say we will be using that glowing technique in this week's video. Now, I know you're thinking, you're thinking, all you do is make something glow. You can add that to anything. That is very true. You can't do that to anything. But what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna use something that you, most likely, chances are, you see every day. And we're gonna use that item in your house, most likely. And we're gonna use it to pretty much give us any backdrop that we want. I mean, you wanna be a little bit careful about that just because some will work better than others. But you know what? I might as well just show you instead of just rambling on about it. So for today's video, I was thinking, I wanted to try something that I've actually never tried before. That's something that I feel like should work. I don't see why it wouldn't work. But then again, you know, I've never tried before. So this is, it's gonna be a bit of a, a learning experience for me as well. And hopefully with 
just going up why I think, I think it should work out pretty well. What I'm gonna do is, I mean, there's a reason I'm holding this as well. It's not just for that pretty cool reveal. So the idea for today's video is we're gonna try and use the TV, you know, the television, and have that become any background that we want. Now, there are some things that we do need to think about beforehand, but I think generally this should go pretty well, hopefully, fingers crossed. And for us to get the best results for this, we need to be dark, very dark, pretty much nighttime, and I can't just close the curtains because there is light bleed coming through, so I can't do that. So what we're gonna have to do is, we will wait till nighttime. So I'll see you guys at nighttime. So initially I was thinking, how am I also going to light myself other than using just the TV's natural light coming off of the screen? Just because I knew that the images I'm using to give off the light, they're pretty dark in most areas. So obviously I won't be getting much light coming from the TV. So as you can see, I am using a rim light, but I turned down its brightness pretty low because really I just wanted to give me a soft highlight just on the side of my face, just to light me up just a little bit. One thing I definitely should have done before setting all this up was just maybe hone in on my ideas a little bit more because I did have some initial ideas, but when it came to it, I probably should have thought a little bit more about the details. So here's the first tester image. And this was just mainly to just give me an idea if the glasses would give me the reflection that I wanted and if this is something that really I can go through with. Good thing is that my idea for the reflection on the shades actually came out pretty accurately to what I was thinking. So I was thinking this is good traction. I know what I want. I can see how I'm gonna do it. Now it's just about getting the pictures done. Now there were some images I was pretty proud of and I kind of didn't expect to get what I did get. Obviously, I'm not gonna to lie to you. I'm going to edit these a little bit more in Photoshop just because I do feel that the images that I did get, they were okay. They're not as good as I wanted them to be, which is a shame, but I still do think these last two images that I'm gonna show you, they're actually pretty good. And these two I'm actually pretty proud of for this photo shoot. Here you can see some floating glasses, but I wanted to get a bit of a contrast between blurry and unblurry. So I can see the background is blurry, but if you look closely in the lens, the neon sign that says live music is actually in focus, which I did think it's a pretty cool editing style. The next picture that I was pretty proud of was this warp speed, light speed kind of picture. And just to improve it a bit more, I did put this picture back in Photoshop. I got that TV background, overlaid it onto the picture and just took down the opacity a little bit and set to screen. And then use that glow effect again on the overlay just to make it look like those beams of light are actually coming past the face as well. And again, I feel like it worked out well. Alright, so I'll be honest with you, this video hasn't really gone to plan. Also got to got to whisper a little bit just because everybody's upstairs sleeping because it's kind of late. It's not really that late, it's only one, but still every sleeping, so I'll give you a bit low. But anyway, back to the video. I mean this week I really haven't had that much time to prepare for this, so I was kind of just going off of things I think would have worked without really thinking it all the way through. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still upload this video because I feel like, you know, it's a good little learning curve. You know, I'd know what I wanna do because I still, I still believe this is a good idea and it can still work. I'm very sure it still works. So I'll probably do a bit more research into it. I'll look into probably thinking more about the objects and what I'm gonna put in front, you know, the main focus of the image and then use this as the background because, I mean, that was my initial idea, if that makes sense. Because honestly, I do feel like one of the things that match is kind of the, you know, the, the shades with the live music thing, you know, the, cause the kind of rock and roll, they kind of match. If you kind of, you know, really push it, they do match in a way, not that much to be honest. You know what, even I'll admit, it's kind of a disappointing video, but it's a learning curve, which, you know what, when they get anything out of it, it's good to have a learning curve, even if it's as messy as this. But anyway, that's watching the video and I hope you did like it, even though, you know, as I did say, it is a bit of a disappointment, but, as he also said, it's good to have a learning curve. And you know what, we will 100% get back to this and we'll actually make it work in the future. It won't be next week. Yeah, definitely won't be next week, I don't think. But yeah, I do feel like this idea will work. I know it's, it's, just, it's, it's got to work. I think it'll work it out. And I'm gonna do that when I have a bit more time in the week, I have a bit more, you know, freedom with my time and that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's something else. That doesn't matter. I'm making excuses. We will do it, we will fix this. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you did, 
please leave a like if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and i'll see you next week with hopefully a video that's not as disappointing as this one i'm very sure it won't be it, you know what it won't be we're gonna make sure of it